Hey guys, this is Manny Fresh with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your iPhone hotspot to your computer. The first thing to know is that when you wanna use the hotspot, you gotta make sure the service is in your data plan. Otherwise, your service provider may give you undesired surcharges per megabyte that you use. So to enable the hotspot, first thing you wanna do, go to settings. And then you want to go scroll down all the way till you see hotspot, personal hotspot. And if it's on, you want to turn it off and on. That's recommended if you, every time you want to use it. And then the Wi-Fi password, the default one is really complicated. So you want to make it something real simple just in case you have connection problems with the password. And there's several ways you could use the hotspot. You could do it through USB, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Generally, you want to use Wi-Fi that's widely used nowadays. And once you have everything set up, then I'm going to show you now on your computer what you need to do to be able to make it work. All right, this is a continuation of the video. And we're going to go ahead and connect your computer to your hotspot. So the first step is to make sure your wireless adapter is turned on. And then click that again to see all of the networks around you. Now one thing I learned with the hotspot is it may not show up the first time. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings again on your phone on the personal hotspot and then turn the hotspot on and off. Once you do that then you should be able to see it. Mine is here listed now so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Make sure that it connects. And by default, it's gonna try to connect to the stronger signal when you first try to turn on your wireless adapter. Now, as you can see, this is, these two circles here, it, it means that I'm connected to the hotspot. If you wanna see how it looks when you connect it to a regular network, then you will see the, the lines or the wireless lines filled up like this. So that means that you are on your home network. If you click on your net, uh, hotspot, then you're gonna see it like that. So once you see the, see the adapter showing the two circles, that means that you're good to go. At least this is on the iMac or MacBook computers. And then you can fire up your browser and you should be able to have internet service. Now, if you don't have service, and you can go online then you gotta make sure you have a lot of signal on your phone at least two or three LTE bars so that way you can navigate through now if you still connect fine and it still doesn't have internet service you want to go to system preference here from the top go to network and you want to make sure that it shows connected with the right network name now, if you still see that and still can't connect, then you want to go to advanced settings. One thing I learned is that sometimes when I try to enter the password, it keeps asking me for the password as if the password was incorrect. So what I will do is I would choose your network or your hotspot name if it's already on the preferred networks and just remove it. So this is an example how you remove it. And then what I will do is I will click OK, uh, probably connect through this window here, try to choose the uh, network name. And the next step would be to go to your TCP IP settings if that do not work. And mine's is configured manually because if I don't, it might not work because I have no signal. But you want to make sure that yours is set up as DHCP meaning that it's getting the IP address from your phone automatically. And if you see an IP address that starts with 169, that means that there is no communication and your computer cannot reach your, your hotspot properly. And first thing you could do is you could renew the uh, DHCP lease to try to get a new IP address. and keep doing that until maybe two or three times try to get a new IP address if it does give you another IP address that doesn't start with 169 then you should be okay 
and you click OK and then you can go back apply and then open your browser and that should let you connect to the internet now just make sure again that you have at least two or three bars LTE otherwise you won't be able to connect and I'm surprised um, some areas where you have full signal you could receive up to 1.2 megabits per second so your download speed must be really really nice depending on your carrier of course so this cover is basically the wireless hotspot uh, if you have any questions leave your comments below thanks for watching and please subscribe to my youtube channel